So this is the Tumba in Grafenwell and what used to be the mill at the center of the, uh, of the frame. And I'm going to be walking down this little path and I'll be telling you a story which is a bit weird. Um, just a heads up, all the boom noises you hear is uh, the military training not very far from here. So anyway, on the 4th of October in 1988, my grandmother died. Yesterday was the 4th of October uh, 2022. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so after work, I took the neighbor's dog for a walk. I do that quite frequently. She loves it. I love it. Great. I was on my way back from our walkies um, and I was standing still for a moment reading a WhatsApp message that I received and I hear very, very, very faintly, Hello, Sylvia. Sylvia is my name. Very faintly, as if it was, you know, from across the valley, so to speak. Really weird. I looked around, I didn't see anybody. But I keep wondering, who called me? Most people don't remember my name. Uh, they know me as the new person in the village. The new gal in the village, if you like. Uh, but they don't know who I am. Uh, and it was a female voice that called out to me. So again, there aren't many people. Plus, at the moment, um, due to road construction, the uh, drive through the village, the road through the village is basically blocked off. There's very little traffic. There is some, but you wouldn't have a lot of people uh, driving around there. So what I'm trying to say is nobody from, or very few people from uh, outside the village would come to our village at the moment. So I don't know who called me. It's weird. Um, it could have been some neighbor, because my immediate neighbor, i.e. the one who, to whom the dog belongs, um, she knows my name. Um, her sister, uh, we know each other from work. Her sister also knows my name. But yeah, and that's about it. Most other people don't know my name. So who called me? Was it supernatural? I wonder.